What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Southside Strider, and by the time you watch this, it is, it'll, it'll be a uh, New Year's Day. Well, it's currently New Year's Eve, and there's about, like, five, five, six hours till midnight, so all I gotta say is goodbye, 2020, and... Hello, 2021. Now that that's out of the way, we just got back a couple of days ago. Oh, uh, on Monday. Hey, and boy, was it a game. The Bears, Bears flew in to Jacksonville, getting a 41-17 win over the Jacksonville Jaguars, and... Defeating our old scrub of a quarterback in Mike Glennon. Yep. And boy, was that a game. And uh, Trubisky it was great. Jimmy Graham was great. David Montgomery was great. Roquan Smith was a stud. And we just straight up dominated that game. Yeah, the only problem with that game was Trubisky. I still don't understand why you had to make that one mistake where you were at the 20 and you literally had all the space to run through, but you just ran back and forth and back and forth and then you threw it to our receiver when he was triple team. It's like, what were you thinking? That, despite that, you had a great game. And also, you guys are is are making history right now. So, for a lot. In the last four games, you guys have put up more, about 30 plus points for four games straight. The Bears have not done that since 1965, which is, which I think we finally found our offense. But, but we don't need to rely all on offense. We need to keep the offense good, but we need both. It's like what I said. We need both offense, defense, and special teams. And Trubisky, I never doubted you for a second. But the only thing I have I have a problem with is you got to stop making turnovers. Because as long as you cut out the turnovers, we're good. So with that win... We get we moved to eight and seven, and also shout out to George Kittle and the San Francisco 49ers for defeating the Arizona Cardinals twenty to twelve of the night prior. Cause with that loss and us winning, that that puts us in. In our current playoff spot. That who would have thought that from we'd go from five and seven this this sneaking our way into the postseason. But it doesn't but we're not there yet, guys. We still week seventeen is our most important week of the season and our biggest challenge. The way we need in order to get in is we we either need to win against Green Bay and Arizona needs to lose to the LA Rams or both the Bears and the Cardinals lose and the Bears still get in. But either way, Arizona needs to lose. And when we take on our biggest nemesis in the NFC North, 
the Green Bay Packers. If you Packers want to wanna come at us and show that you want to kick our ass just to get a number one seed, then let's go, doggone it. Because if you want to uh, take us on, then bring it on. Aaron Rodgers, you who lost uh, your, your main left tackle because without your line, you are vulnerable. So, Rodgers, if you're out there, if you're watching, if you're listening, you better be careful what you're getting yourself into because we, the Bears, we have an appointment with you. We are going to and to play you. We're going to fight you until oh, the final second of the game this Sunday. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's just go into the into the week 17 in and fulfill our destiny because of the the hope for the playoffs rely in our hands. So, anyway, the fin So yeah. The Bears beat the Jaguars. Here's 41 to 17. Trubisky threw two touchdowns and he rushed a touchdown in. Jimmy Graham caught two touchdowns and David Montgomery also ran, rushed one in, and so did Artavis Pierce, who ran in. And if you want to see that Jimmy Grant um, footage, you can check out that, that video on the channel. Oh, I got it there waiting for you. For all of you who have been following me through this, this crazy year, all I gotta say is, thank you. Thank you for all your support, and now, now, that, now that you guys are here with us to, f to end 2020 and make way for 2021. This is Southside Strider, and I'll see you guys in the new year. Happy New Year, and let's go Bears!